Hello everyone, it's Sine here from Abstract Inspiration and I'm back with another art journaling process video using the Shimmers products. If you want to receive a freebie with your Shimmers order, make sure to mention my name Xenia while you place your order. And let's just jump right into this. Here is the full list of the Shimmers products I use for this project. And what I did was I use the white acrotones, it's an acrylic paint, and I mixed it with some beautiful paste colors from Shimmers to create some DIY acrylic paint colors. Now you can totally mix it with the other acrotones in the Shimmers line or any other Shimmers uh, products you want, but I really love the color combination of the pasties and dazzlers and also I wanted to kind of create a heavy body paint so the paste really holds it nicely and that was basically the reason behind this here you can see my color palette and you can just leave it as it is or if you want to make the colors a little bit more intense you can add some um, Reinkers. I specifically mentioned the reinkers because they're very concentrated uh, liquid colors, so you don't really need to add a lot to add a little bit of extra color to your mixes. So that's what I did there. I added some distress oxide reinkers to some of my colors just to kind of um, brighten them up. And now starting to work on my page, I have prepped the page with some gesso and you can see I applied my gesso very heavily and left some uh, marks the, while I was um, applying it with my palette knife. And then I went in with some uh, colorings, vibes and spritz, which are shimmers sprays. And I created this background and the first I actually I was planning to kind of create a globe background that's why you see all the blues and the green parts that look like the ground uh, the continents uh, but when that when once that was dry I kind of came up with another idea I was inspired by The Little Prince, it's one of my favorite books, and I wanted to kind of create a scene that reminded me the cover of the book. So I used my uh, green paint there and I painted a uh, half circle to represent the earth. And my background will serve more like a sky instead of the globe sort of. Uh, look I was going for before So I started with that base and I'm gonna add uh, I'm gonna mix in some gesso with white with white gesso with uh, water and I'm gonna add some splatters with my paintbrush and sort of like replicate stars and Now I'm gonna create my little character so I wanted to have a girl sitting on that a planet there or on earth and or maybe it can represent the hill or whatever to me it reminded me reminded me more of that planet feel since my inspiration came from the little prince cover as I said so that's what I went for and I'm giving her this beautiful and playful ombre dress and not ombre more like a rainbow dress I wanted to include all my colors on the character just to help it blend in beautifully with the rest of the scene and just because who doesn't love a rainbow dress? <laughs> so here I am actually mixing a slightly light uh, skin tone there with my orangey color and some white gesso and I'm gonna give her some legs. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of the character in terms of uh, head and hands. I just want it as a colorful silhouette but I just want I didn't want her to just float around. I had to add uh, some sort of leg impression there. But for the top part I'm gonna completely skip it because I decided to go with some uh, to represent a girl from the back side so her hair will actually cover up everything. 
and you know it will be a waste of time to just draw the whole thing and then cover it with her hair so I'm moving on to the rest of my scene and I'm basically going to create balloons all over the place I'm gonna use all my colors there and I'm gonna do a bunch of different balloons I'm not very specific with the shape or the size I'm just going with it um, I don't have any plan or composition I'm just spreading the colors uh, in a way that is pleasing to my eye and I just keep going until I'm happy with it I let the first layer dry a little bit and I just went back in and I'm gonna add a second layer just to help the balloons pop off the background since the background is relatively busy that is very helpful so here everything is dry and I'm gonna go in with a marker this is a Faber Castell big brush pen it has India ink and it's actually permanent once it dries so that's what I decided to use here now this is a really cool marker and you'll see what I mean about this in a second because I'm gonna use it again uh, but meanwhile I decided to add some doodling as well across the page so I picked my Delusions paint pen in black and I'm going to add some curvy and playful strings to my balloons and I'm also going to doodle an, out, um, an outline around them now uh, I didn't plan this from the start but I still wanted them to be more um, separated from the rest of the page and the background so I went for the outline and again I went for a very messy line across now I was talking about the big brush pen markers and they're really really fun and I just mentioned how they're permanent but they're only permanent after they dry before that you have a so small time window where you can uh, blend them maybe with your fingers or with a baby wipe or just a water brush like I do here especially if you're working on a non part surface like on top of gel medium or some gesso or acrylics you can definitely have a relatively good time frame to go back in and blend the colors so I use that to add some shading to my balloons and make them a bit more lively and fun and I'm just gonna add a few highlights as well with this chalk marker just on the balloons, I didn't want to be very um, detailed with the whole sketch. I just wanted some small elements and accents to pull everything together and make them look pretty. So that's the page. Uh, I'm gonna finish it off here. That's uh, the finished spread. And I really, really hope you enjoyed this. I think it was a really fun page and it's actually very fun to recreate, you just spray some colors for the background and then just with some uh, intuitive brush strokes create some balloons and a little girl. So I really hope you get inspired and you will try to create something similar. It's really really fun and therapeutic process so I would highly recommend rubbing your art supplies and dive into your art journals. So thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. You can find some more details on the Shimmers blog. I will have the link to it in the description box below. And yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, if you enjoyed this I'll have some more recommendations on videos you can watch on the screen here. And again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again very very soon. Have a wonderful crafty day. Bye!